Hello friends and welcome to this special episode. It's not an episode, it's an episode of myself. I don't know how to say this. This is going to be my Black Shield Season 2 review and Season 3 predictions and just my talk about everything. Today's Tuesday, uh, the day that Black Shields should drop normally. Uh, last Friday there was no Black Shields. Uh, first of all, I'm a little bit behind with everything, so that's one of the reasons. But the biggest reason for Black Seals is that I, I haven't bought Season 3 and Season 4 yet. So I still have to buy them. Uh, so I can't watch them. <laughs> that's basically it. Um, so that's why I give you guys this prediction and uh, review of Season 2 and where I stand and my thoughts on everything. Because I have a lot of thoughts. Um, first thing I wanted to start with was just uh, the overall review of season 2. I really liked the season, it was better than the first season. Uh, a lot of you guys said to me that season 2 was going to be better and you keep saying that season 3 and 4 are going to be even better than that. Even though I have seen one person who said that the ending of Lexo sucked. I hope I li will like the ending because that's gonna mean a lot to the overall ranking for the show for me. But no, I, I really loved it, better than season 1, uh, and I'll explain why it's better than season 1. Season 1 is more of a build-up kind of season, you know, it's still great, but it's the first season and you can really see that it's a building up to the second season. If you compare those two with each other, you have season 1 and you have season 2, you can clearly see the differences. <laughs> at how good season 2 uh, is compared to season 1 even though season 1 overall would still probably get like an, an, an seven and a half from me the whole season I don't know I haven't done I, I didn't do episode reviews in that one either so I don't know um, but I have a list here of all the episodes from season 2 and which uh, rating I gave them <laughs> So episode 1 I gave a 9, um, which you could understand. Episode 2 got also a 9. Episode 3 got a 10, a 10 out of 10. Uh, episode 4 got a 7 from me. Episode 5 was a 10 as well. Uh, episode 6 was a 7.5. Uh, episode 7 was a 7.5 as well. Uh, episode 8 was an 8. Episode 9 was a 10, and episode 10 was a 10. So there are... Out of 10 episodes, there are 4 who have a 10. That says a lot. That says just a lot. Uh, about how good this season overall is. My favorite episode from all of these has got to be episode 6. Or, sorry, episode 5, I mean. I'm sorry, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm not confused. But I, I keep thinking that episode 6 is the episode with Flint. That his backstory get revealed and that gets revealed that he had an affair with Thomas as well. But it's episode 5. Uh, that episode is the best episode of Black Souls so far for me. Even though I really liked episode 9. Uh, episode 9 I liked because of Black Seals, Because I love Black Seals. But episode 5 I would have also liked the episode if I wasn't a Black Seals fan. Because the twist that they do was so good and it made so much sense it wasn't a twist like oh here you have you know oh it appears they were together instead of them it was well thought out it was well written it explains Flint's character because something bothered me about uh, Flint until episode 5 there was just something that I thought he killed Mr. Gates he killed Mr. Gates but now I understand why he did it um, I understand why he won he killed those people and I was I, I like this character Flynn's character but I understand I understand it understood I understood Billy more and Flynn Flint or Flint and the uh, gates and the frame betraying him in season one uh, saying that he had to die and uh, Gates saying that it was no problem for him I could totally understand why they did that and I was on their side, actually. I wasn't on Flint's side. Even when Flint killed uh, Mr. Gates, I wasn't on Flint's side. But after watching episode 5, 
I would have been on his side. So that's how good that episode was. That was the best episode. And then they did the twist, and then they ended with a cliffhanger. That, that that's got to be one of the best cliffhangers ever because you want to watch the next one because of it. But it wasn't an annoying cliffhanger. It wasn't a cliffhanger like uh, something was going on with Thomas and Flint. Oh yeah, gotta wait till the next episode to find out what it is. The episode was a complete whole episode. It wasn't a half of an episode because of something uh, that they wanted to show you in the next episode that was supposed to be in that episode. So that's a, that's my thought in episode um, episode five. I, I feel like I keep saying that in episode 6, but episode 5. Uh, episode 3 gets a 10 out of 10 because um, fucking Charles killed. Uh, what, what was his name again? Ned Lowe? In the most unexpected way ever. Um, I love that. I, I kind of forgot what else happened in that episode, but the, the other things that happened in the episode I also really liked. Um, episode 9, episode 10, I think you all know why those two get a 10. Uh, Flint and Charles working together. I think if I have episode 10 episode 9, I like episode 9 more overall. You guys could see how much in, or how much I was into the episode at the end. I was just absorbed into it. And I should have watched episode 10 after that. I should have done that. That would have been the best thing to do. But I had to add it uh, because I was behind again. But next time that happens that I'm so into an episode, I'll just watch the other one as well, the next one, because if you're so into it, you need to watch another one. That's just, that, that's my new, that's my new way of thinking or whatever, something along those lines. Um, so that's where I stand with season two. Amazing season. Loved it. Uh, I don't understand why there are so, why there are so less people. I have no idea what I'm trying to say. I know the Dutch way to say it, but then you guys won't understand. But there are almost no um, people who react to black sales. That's what I wanted to say, but I wanted to say it in a different way. So let's just phrase it this way. Uh, there are so there are almost no people who react to black sales. I know Jimmy Macroom is one of the reactors I really uh, watch or watched. Now I don't really watch mm, him anymore because he doesn't do a show that I can watch and I'm not uh, doing new shows anymore off screen I want to keep them for my own YouTube channel you know beside uh, let's take for example I know Jimmy Macrum is doing personal of interest right now I haven't watched person of interest if I had didn't have the YouTube channel I would have watched person of interest but I have the YouTube channel so I won't watch it uh, because maybe I want to react to it sometime you know, that's that's just the way I want to do it. But I know that he did it. The normies did it. Um, I don't really watch the normies, but I know that they did it. And Blind Wave, I think, did it as well. But there are these other big reactors who, don't, who haven't watched it. And I'm like, why? It's so good. It's so underrated. I've only watched two seasons and I already know that this show is underrated because it's so good. Um, better than Game of Thrones, by the way. I don't want to talk about the Game of Thrones disaster. You all know by now that I hated the ending. And because of the ending, the whole show is destroyed for me. That's how bad the ending was. But no, season two was perfect. The overall rating of season two is an 8.8. .8. I took all the ratings I gave from episode 1 to episode 10 and I counted them and I I don't know how to say that in English either but you know I'm going to look it up now I think it's the 5? yeah it's the 5 you know you count everything and then you divide it and then you have a number and then you have in Dutch it's called gemiddelde uh, if I do that in Google Translate it says average but I don't think that's because average is something else. Uh, but let me know what it is. What is the English word for that? I have no idea. But it's an 8.8. .8, so that's a really high rating uh, for a second season. I wonder if season 3 will have more than 4 10 out of 10 episodes. I don't think it will. I don't know what they could do for me to give an episode a 10 out of 10 in season 3. Um, 
But that's why we're going to the season three predictions right now. Okay, I have some season three predictions. Uh, first of all, I'm pretty sure that Eleanor is going to work with London because I don't think she'll die. And it totally makes sense for her character to, you know, work together with London to take down Nessa. I definitely believe Eleanor will be, uh, you know, spared or something. And it makes sense for her character because last, in episode 9, I think, was the, was the episode. She was all, like, betraying Jack and killing Max. So, we were working together with London. And she wanted to end piracy or something. She said something along those lines. So, I definitely think she's going to work together with London. I don't spoil me, though, because maybe I'm wrong. But I think, I think, I'm almost sure that I'm right. And if I am... You go back to this video and tell me I'm right. <laughs> um, I also have on the list that Charles and Flint, I want to see more of them working together. I'm definitely thinking that it's going to happen. Uh, and if that happens, then it's going to be a great season because I love them together. Uh, it would be great if Jack worked with them. But I don't know. Jack, Anne and Max are also what's going to happen with them. I don't know. I have no idea where their story is going to go. There are two things that could happen. I think Max is the new queen of NASA, the new Eleanor. Uh, and and Jack, I don't know. I feel like Jack could die this season, season three. Um, but I don't know if they'll do that because they're kind of going the way of letting Jack, you know, giving him all these good things like the gold and uh, this crew and he beat one pirate. So I don't think they'll kill him off. Silver and the gold, how is Silver going to get out of that situation? Because Max is, is, is he going to take the gold? Will Max tell Flynn that Silver works with, with them? Will Jack tell them? Is Max the only one who knows? I think Max is the only one who knows that Silver uh, told them. Or she didn't tell it to Anne or Jack or the quartermaster. I think she kept it to herself that it's Silver who told them. Uh, and I definitely think Flint is going to find out that Silver betrayed them. And that's going to be fucked up. Uh, Silver's backstory, that's also something that's definitely going to happen. And I'm curious about it. I, at, first, at first I thought he was a spy. But I believe that he was like a miserable guy who didn't have anyone or something like that. Uh, the last thing that I have is who I think will die. And I already said that I thought Jack might die. But I don't know for certain. Well, I don't know for sure than any of these things. But I believe that Dufresne and Hornigold will both die. Both of them will die. Uh, Charles will live. Billy will live. Uh, Flint will live. Eleanor. Mm -hmm. It's also a question. Max will live. Anne and Jack. I don't know. The Vrain and Hornigold will die. Scott! Oh, we also have Scott. Was his name Scott? I don't know about him. He kinda can die. But he, his character hasn't really developed that much, so I don't know. Um, is there another, another major character? Not really, I think. No. Miranda died. <laughs> So, so far we have season 1's Big Death is Mr. Gates, season 2's Big Death is Miranda, so season 3 is definitely going to have a big death. We'll wait to see who it's going to be, but uh, it's definitely going to... Miranda died in episode 9, right? Mr. Gates died in the last episode? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Um, definitely excited. When I've, I'm going to buy it pretty soon. Maybe I'll put out a uh, season 3 episode 1 this week, but I can't promise anything because I'm really bus busy and I have to buy it first and I don't even know when I have the time to buy it. Um, so first buy it, then watch it, then edit it, then upload it. But it'll definitely return to two episodes a week again next week um, and I'll try to get one, maybe two out this week, this week, this week, this week. We'll see what happens. Uh, now, thank you guys so much for all the support on Black Seals. It's one of the, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it's a favorite series I'm doing right now because it's the best show I'm watching and I just love the people, the Black Seals community and the who, who produced Black Seals, who produced it? Stars or something? Stars Unlimited? 
they are amazing as well because no Black Souls video gets blocked. Breaking Bad keeps getting blocked. Uh, the 100 keeps getting blocked. But Black Souls doesn't even get a little bit blocked. And I thank you. I love you, uh, stars. Because I don't make any money off of this. And I'm holding myself against the 10 minute fair use. So why would you block me uh, looking at you, the CW? Alright. Leave your thoughts on Season 2 down below. And if I missed anything... Uh, that I should have talked about, leave it down in the comments down as well and I could still talk to you uh, about it with you in the comments. The comments are amazing, aren't they? Um, if you have a show, a video, or maybe just something else in general that you want me to react to, leave it down in the comments as well and maybe we'll watch that together as well. Leave a like, subscribe, share the video, ring the bell so you don't miss any of the Hyped Black Souls reaction season 3 and season 4 are going to be amazing. That's what I've been told. So I'm so excited. Thank you guys for watching again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.